What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I am gonna go. <sighs> I feel better now. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. What can I do for you, honey? Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. I can't push that. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Let me know if I can help you find... Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za, when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitchin' when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? Oh, <laughs> no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Can I take a look at that security tape? Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If 
I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in the superior tech, dude. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you like telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that, Dweeb, when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. Ugh, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. I'm going to look around your store. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. there let's go over to the counter where we can talk alrighty now I can't quite put my finger on it but this place stinks of false advertising sorry about that hun this used to be Ricky's cakes but now we sell vacuum tubes what an exciting life you lead anyway I'm special agent Ray I have some questions for you Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Let me see if we have them in stock. <sighs> Bad news, I'm afraid. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? I'm all tubed out. Thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Is
It's a WC67 tube. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose! I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. You're naive to be so trusting. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. I don't know how to use this tube. Better give it to someone who does. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. I got you your WC-67 tube. Thank you. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon.